Hi Scorpios, welcome to your X spread. I will do a past, present and future so you can see if this resonates. It is being recorded during uh, for the month of April, but if you see it and it resonates, then it's for you. So well, let's see, this is the X spread. And I'll leave information about what decks of cards I'm using in the description box. Okay, guys? Okay, so let's see what we have with this X spread. Let's see the past first so you'll know if it resonates with you. Let's see who this X is. Okay, the hangman, somebody who needs to wake up, that's for sure. But this um, is an ex who awakened you. Um, you know, the relationship has obviously come to a standstill. Okay, could be a Capricorn as we have the devil card. Um, there was negative energy surrounding this relationship. Um, two major arcana. So energy that will had a, have an impact on your life for a long time here okay so um this person could have been led away from you by desire with the devil card there could have been codependency in this relationship um you could have loved them more than you loved yourself that's why this has brought you to this standstill to this awakening here let's see King of Swords reversed. Okay, so, and the devil was reversed as well. Um, here, this person is being very cold and distant towards you. They could have been keeping secrets from you here, hiding things from you, especially if they was led away by desire and temptation. Could have been an air sign. Um, doesn't really matter about the signs. It's how they're acting and the energies that surrounded the relationship in the past. Um cold, distant, this person sort of moving away from you slowly, slowly and I feel like you was noticing and, you know, trying to talk to them and they was turning their back on you, ignoring you, cut you off and was quite cold here um, with the King of Swords reverse. Treated you very unfairly in this situation, in this breakup you was mistreated, um, wasn't fair what happened. The justice card, yeah, there you go, very unfair. Um, but I feel like it was karma here. You know, you had to go through this to wake up another major arcana and the King of Swords being a very high card as well. This relationship came about to wake you up. Okay, so you had some karmic debt. You had to go through this. This could have even been a karmic partner. But it's like the time came that this relationship had to end and you had to wake up to the toxic energy that was in it, the lies that were being told. You had to see the distance that was becoming apparent between you both here was, you know, real, was happening and this person um, cut you off. I feel like maybe you should have even cut them off before they did you but it seems like this person cut you off if this is to resonate three of pentacles here so i feel like you wanted to work it out and they turned their back here because we see one person working in the three of pentacles i feel like you kept trying to fix it and their coldness and dismissiveness you wasn't able to fix it on your own it's not just for one person to pick up the slack and fix so it ended here it came to a standstill you could have even felt stuck a really long time because of this person's actions because of them refusing to communicate with you so let's see what's going on with you Scorpios in the present here eight of pentacles good so you're working on yourself you're working to wake up to feel better to find your skill your path in life here your calling in life the hermit so you know you've took time out here you really have your soul searching um you want to 
find the right direction to go in now and I feel that's why you've been on your own and taken this time out to be on your own. I feel like, you know, with the Hermit the right way up, um, it's really positive, you are working on self-love and going in the right direction here I feel. Yeah, Six of Swords, wonderful. So you're thinking more positively than you were previously. Um, I feel like you found out you were maybe even banging your head against this brick wall with somebody who didn't want to work on things. Um, didn't want to move things forward, especially at this time in the past with the King of Swords reversed there. But I feel you're moving very positively forward you're moving in the right direction even if it doesn't feel like it at times you're moving in the right direction here so you know I, I know here when somebody's ghosting even with the king of swords here it's painful uh but it shows codependency maybe even addictions in the relationship um you know, and you had to wake up to this. So this was something that came about to wake you up. I know with the Three of Pentacles there, you really was trying to hold this together and trying to make it work out. But, you know, if one person's putting in all the effort, it's not fair. And this is why the Divine has stepped in to have a major change on your life here. And this is what we're seeing with the Eight of Pentacles. You now, you've awakened here with the Hangman. You're taking this time now for yourself to work on yourself and moving forward gracefully and you know working hard i feel like it's very positive okay the star here yeah it was destined to happen right and like i said i feel like um you're probably um about to meet somebody here with the star but it's brought around major healing in your life things that was triggering you before things what was unhealed from maybe even past life situations with the justice card being above here so i feel like it was your soul's contract it was your destiny here to for this ex to wake you up in this way so don't take don't have setbacks by feeling that is there something wrong with me and things like that? You've, you've working so hard and you have been in this isolation and um, this self-recovery mode. And I see you moving out of it in a positive light, in a healing way. I just feel like don't let, um, don't start second guessing yourself now because you've come a long way in your healing. This was meant to happen. Everything happens for a reason. So let's see here. Three of Cups now, okay. So that's under the Three of Pentacles. Um, maybe you've been working on yourself in order to um, unite with them. Maybe you had this goal that if you work on yourself and improve yourself, you will be able to win them back or they'll come back or be guided back by the divine here. But this Three of Cups, um, yeah, it's the right way around. So it is like happy news, celebrations and positivity coming out of this work that you've done. I feel like it started with a goal here. You felt like, oh, this is the end point. Uh, I don't know if that's still your goal, but I feel like definitely when you started working on yourself, you probably felt like you was working on your divine path with the hermit heading towards this union if you still feel like that I, I don't know maybe you do it's just like this positive outlook and things like that threes are about unions and a very spiritual number you know we have the holy trinity um so i definitely feel there it was divine intervention and it was a huge learning curve but i feel like you're in a good place right now scorpios so let's see the future here <clears throat> with your ex. Will you come back together? Do you want that? Do they want that? Let's see what's going on. Okay, so 
this is wonderful. Um, this is the page of wands. So something is about to begin. I felt it appear. I felt like you're just about to meet somebody. So I feel like um, communication may be coming in now from your ex. It may be starting up uh, something, initiating now um, with the hanged man, eight of pentacles and the page of wands. This is what I feel you've been working towards. Okay, so what you've been working towards is coming to fruition here. Eight of wands on top there. I just looked down and seen. So, yeah. Communication coming in. Okay, so the Knight of Swords. So, this is somebody coming towards you very quickly. Um, I would say they're coming with honesty, but they may still need a little work on themselves so i feel like they're going to be very eager to talk to you very eager to tell you what's been going on with them and wanting your attention let's say so this is now somebody who's doing the most for your attention Okay, Nine of Cups, yeah, somebody wishing to be back with you here. Okay, so from going very cold, they've had this um, turnaround here. They've come out the rough part of it themselves. Um, they see you more positive. They see you doing better with the Six of Swords. They're taking notice of that. They're wishing to be part of it, and I feel this is probably why they're doing the most here. Okay? Um, they're trying to expand their knowledge about you. So this is probably why they're very talkative now. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, the last two cards jumped out and it is the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So your ex is now feeling left out in the cold the page of cups reversed is more than an apology it's sort of begging here because we see them wanting to talk to you wanting to know what's going on with you wanting you to tell them the truth and okay i'm telling you the truth what's happening with me tell me the truth what's happening with you um so i feel like this person is now begging you back apologize and i'm sorry look i told you i'm sorry they've got a lot to say i tell you that much they're feeling left out in the cold here with the five of pentacles so once you're in this much better place and you're not putting all your effort into them with the three of pentacles and you're happy within yourself with the three of cups they start to realize what they've lost and they are begging you back with the page of cups reversed here so this is an ex rushing towards you now that they feel left out in the cold and you're in a much better place where you're meant to be with the star there. I feel like you're right on track. So maybe at times we can feel like, am I doing the right thing? Am I not? But it seems with the star there in your present, you're right on track. It's just extra confirmation that, you know, everything happens for a reason you're not in the wrong place, wrong time. You're right on track. You are where you're meant to be. Moving towards feeling much more happier, much more healed and settled. Shine bright like a diamond, Scorpio. 